representation of your record that you want to clear up. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. Well, part is that I was a prosecutor, and um, and the the, the 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 reality of it is that I was born to parents who were active in civil rights movement. I was born in a community where we uh, we lived the experience of knowing how law enforcement can be unfair and, and in some cases, in many cases, brutal in terms of the way that it impacts the community and the way racial profiling. Look, there's not a black man I know, be he a relative, a friend, or even a co-worker who has not been subject to some form of profiling or discrimination or even excessive force. So when I decided to be a prosecutor, it was a very conscious decision. And I made that decision because I decided I wanted to be on the inside where I didn't have to ask permission to create the kind of change that needed to happen, which is why I did the work when I was the elected DA of creating one of the first in the nation initiatives for people who were arrested for drugs, young men in particular, young black men in particular, and getting them jobs and counseling and support. And when I created this program back in the dark ages, because I was elected in 2003, people would say to me, well, why are you letting people out when you're supposed to be locking them up? Or they would say, why are you giving them jobs? Other people need jobs. Why are you giving people who committed a crime jobs? But I was doing this work knowing that we needed to reform the system, that it was unfair, that it was, you know, especially around drug crime, leading to massive, mass incarceration all over our country in a way that, that locked up young black and brown men. I did the work as attorney general, and I was the only black elected attorney general in the United States. And I ran the second largest Department of Justice which is the California Department of Justice, second largest to the United States Department of Justice. And there I put in place one of the first statewide initiatives requiring special agents to wear body cameras and keep them on. I created one of the first in the nation mandatory trainings for police officers on racial bias for the same reason. The position where I had the authority to make the decision. And you had a truancy um, program. You, know, think, you had a truancy program designed to get kids back in school, and no parents went to jail. If I read correctly, not one, not one, and not that, one. You know, people are trumping.